and you know, I, I also don't really like that the NBA um, officials' Twitter account is trying to like the educate us, account. if yeah. you will. I'm being very generous it, with that term. Yeah. It's like a Chinese government account, all right? <laughs> yes. um, but this this was an interesting tweet that resurfaced on Twitter lately that was from last fall, and they had said the um, – NBRA fully supports and enforces the, quote, respect for the game program announced today. This is another step forward in fostering mutual respect in all arenas at all levels and reaffirms the existing, quote, respect for the game rules. But then they went in to describe some of these rules. And I was like, mm, yeah, I can buy some of them. Mm. But at the same time, like, are you for real for real right now? So were they low key trolling, too, by using the word fostering in the tweet? Oh, I man. mean, maybe <laughs> that's brutal. So it says that you can uh, approach a referee to ask a question. Would you like to go out to dinner? As long as it's done in a civil manner and ended when the official has provided an answer. So you can't follow up. So you don't want to go to <clears> dinner, <throat> which is crazy. Just crazy because the pool report goes the same way pretty much. So you can look at and or point to the Jumbotron replay as long as it's not too long, overly demonstrative, or done to mock a call or a non-call. Did you see what the gorilla did? <laughs> you can also express disagreement with the call as long as the reaction is not aggressive, overly demonstrative, again, and dissolves quick quickly. I would really appreciate it if next time I got slapped in the face, you called something. But here's what you cannot do. These are not permissible. Aggressive hand claps directed at an official. I love what you're doing out there. You keep it up, Scott Foster. You're fantastic. Thank you, brother. Air punches, wave offs, aggressive or excessive arm motion. So you can't do any windmills. None of that. No windmills. No windmills. I can't look like one of those... Uh, Things at the car wash. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Wild, right. wacky, inflatable tube. Yeah. Frantically <laughs> running away from a play after a call or non-call. You can't even remove yourself from the situation. But I just had to go to the bathroom. That's... You also uh, cannot continue to discuss a call after the official has responded. So again, no follow-ups. You can ask one question, mm -hmm. but once they give you an answer, that's that. But why? Because I said so, and you're going to go to your room if you ask me again. <laughs> You cannot hold your arms in the air for a prolonged period of time. And you can't wave them like you just don't care. <laughs> God bless. You cannot attempt to demonstrate actions such as goaltending or traveling. I'm just a mime out here, just pantomiming what, what's going on. And again, in another set of words, repeatedly ask questions, making comments or gesturing. You can't do any of those things. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No, nope, can't do it. Nope. So, like, while I understand that they were trying to create a good environment here that has respect both ways, which at its core level, I do agree with. I'm not saying that players should be able to go out there and just completely rip the hell out of an official. But some of this is just like, are you kidding me? You can't hold your arms in the air. What What is considered a prolonged period of time? Because depending on which referee, one, one second is prolonged period of time. I'm pretty sure those were the same rules my parents set out. Anytime we went on a road trip. Yeah. Like, it's such a, it, it's so condescending. The whole thing is condescending to the players and to the game as a whole. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's such crap. Yeah. Yeah, ref, refs, are, refs are cops, man. <laughs> like, that's all I got reading through these fucking parameters. This is like. Defund the refs. <laughs> this is nuts. I like, mean, Ken in the chat even says it's wild. These are even laid out in writing. And that's right? what I'm saying. Like. Like, are, well, how old do we think these athletes are? Right. They literally thought Four? of they thought of like every rule for them that they do, like running away even dramatically or whatever. Like, are we for real on this? Like, we God actual... forbid you have any emotion whatsoever. Yeah. To be fair, most of these refs are old enough to be the grandfather of the players out yeah. there. I mean, mm -hmm. Scott Foster could probably be some of their great grandfather. That's yeah, true. Actually. We, we, we need newer refs. We need more diverse refs. We need yeah. more refs because we've had guys that have been in this league for years and years. And it's pretty clear that they have developed reputations, that they've overstayed their welcome, that they're not good at their jobs. Like mm -hmm. Scott Foster shouldn't be officiating games anymore. Remember Joey Crawford? He officiated probably five to 10 years too long past when he should have retired. And I, I get that. I'm not out here advocating that all of these dudes lose their jobs or anything like that, but there needs to be more accountability. There needs to be more 
training and it feels like a lot of these guys coast on tenure and reputation instead of actual on court results. Yeah. Hey, you want to coast on that? Go to the Pac-12 conference. I mean, go do <laughs> go there. 